frank, I've paid my dues. All I want is to win, win. Let nobody see me win, win. Let's meet the starting lineup for the visiting New York Knicks. At shooting guard, Landry Shannon. At center, Mitchell Robinson. At small forward, Mikkel Bridges. At the other forward position, Carl Anthony Towns. At the other guard position, Jalen Brinson. The head coach of the visiting team is Tom Thibodeau. Introducing the starting five for you, Phoenix Suns. A small forward position, six feet four inches. Number eight, Grayson Allen. Manning the middle at seven foot zero inches. Number 20, Yusuf Nukin. Starting at shooting guard. Six feet four inches. Number three, Bradley. Head guard, six five. Number one, Devin Booker. At the other forward position, standing six foot eleven. Number 35, Kevin Durant. Greetings, everyone. Welcome to 2K Sports and another exciting edition of NBA Ball. Along with Hall of Famer Doris Burke and Grant Hill, I'm Brian Anderson. Ali LaForce joins us from the sidelines. We are now into November, so let's check in on the standings in the Western Conference. You take a look at the Suns. Already, they're on the outside looking in. Ninth place in the conference. Well, I think for Phoenix, they're really doing their best to rise through the rankings. Time will tell whether they can pull it off. You know, it's got to be frustrating for them. You can't dwell on the past. You've got to think forward, work together, and play for one another. And to look at the starters for the Knicks. Mikhail Bridges is out there with Carl Anthony Towns. And then it's Landry Shamit. Then there's Mitchell Robinson. And it's Brunson in at the point. And for Phoenix, Beal and Allen are out on the wing. KD and Nurkic are the big man for him. And it's Booker in at the one. And so off the tip, it is New York. All right, Doris, how about teams like these who can really run their offense through their bigs? B.A., over the years, one of the things I've heard from coaches quite often is how effective a three-tool big man can be. When you can drive it, pass it, shoot it, score it, do all the things they can, it changes the geometry of the floor. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Robinson. So it's Booker with it. He brings it up for the Suns. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing their last matchup with Orlando. And it was an awful game defensively. They lost the individual matchups, and the help was slow to rotate. I'll tell you this. If you're going to allow your opponent to make that New many York shots, Orlando. you have got Landry to be as solid on the offensive end. And foul. clearly, they First were not. I don't mind that. I mean, they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the points. Over the last few years, Bradley Beal has had an unfortunate string of injuries, Doris. Oh, B.A., Take that's break. putting it mildly. If you go Two back shots. to the 2019 season, he hasn't played more than 60 games since that year. 
Obviously, when he's healthy, this is one of the great shooters and ball handling guards in the league. He has the physical stature and ability to be outstanding on the defensive end. It's just hard watching him get robbed of so many of these prime years. He does not get the second one. Doris, it's hard to believe that Nick's title drought has gone on for over 50 years now. Oh, that fan base Miguel is just Bridges. dying for an opportunity to win the championship. And here's the thing, VA, what I love about that fan base, through all the years where the Knicks struggled on any given night, that building is as electric as any in the league. And Allen gets it to go. We played just over a minute here in the first. Now we'll go to Ali LaForce, who had a chance to talk with head coach Mike Budenholzer. And we discussed Mikel Bridges. Coach said Mikel creates a lot of problems with his movement off the ball. He keeps the defense on its toes. We can't allow him to get into a rhythm. And he also praised Bridges' on-ball defense. He'll be the focus of their game plan tonight. Brian? As always, Ali, we thank you. Now here's Allen. Right now averaging five and a half a game. left side outside for Booker just five to shoot let's a floater go that one's good for two this guy has so many shots up his sleeve Devin Booker loves to go with that floater when it's presented to him Brunson against Booker Ooh, Brunson throws it down and defensively you have to make him work harder than this or it's gonna be a long night Outside Durant. Over Towns. And no good. His first shot of the night. Missing. New York has gone one or two from three-point land so far. Brunson passes to Bridges. Towns outside. Here's the three. And it's Phoenix with a rebound. Here's Durant. That one's good. Give the assist to Booker. Well, Kevin Durant has the ability to put the ball on the deck and finish off the drive. Prime example there. And we'll have a timeout called by Tom Thibodeau. He wants a few moments to regroup with his players. And guys, this is the first they're seeing of Phoenix this year. Yeah, surprised to split the season series last year. These guys have confidence in themselves against anyone they face. You wonder if they're looking to take control of this one early. And when you have more talent, you want to keep the other guys from gaining any confidence. If you see yourself on the big screen, then you know what to do. Show us your move. Neal's checked in. Josh Hart's checked in for New York. Here's Towns. Turned in an outstanding game against Washington. Pass to Hart. Towns outside. Four on the clock. Here's Hart. 
And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Well, we love his ability to attack the rim. He just loses a little bit of focus and misses the chippy. Durant's shot is off. The Knicks have gone three of eight so far. And Doris, you talk about the bounciest big men in the association. Mitchell Robinson's on the short list. Come on now. This guy is a game changer as a lob threat and rim protector. He's grown up so much in terms of avoiding foul trouble, and he's putting in the work on the offensive end. Mitchell Robinson is a big-time player. Here's Hart. After the basket by Phoenix on the other end. Towns for three, sinks the tray. Anthony this is a big who we know stretches the floor to great effect. Mr. Towns from three. Beal outside. Outside O'Neal, outside Durant. Beyond the arc. Hart pulls it in. And so it's Hart with it. He brings it up for the New York Knicks. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. That's all grit from Josh Hart. This guy will mix it up on the interior. Outside Durant. And there's the call on Carl Anthony Towns. That's his first foul of the game. And the timeout called by Mike Budenholzer. And we might see some changes. Coach potentially looking to adjust. making a change here as well. Haynes checked in for Mikel Bridges. A minute 37 left in the opening quarter. New York leading by three. Well, Grant, the Suns were swept in the first round last year. Are super teams a thing of the past, you think? You know, perhaps, B.A., the Suns had KD, Booker, and Bradley Beal, but the constraints of the salary cap mean you end up a little top-heavy. The rest of the roster was tough for them to fill out. Nurkic is screen on pain. For three, Booker buries it from three. Booker's got five. Well, efficiency is everything, right? So far in this one, this guy has been on the money. All right, let's get a report from Ali. Hey, Brian. Well, Kevin Durant steadily climbing up the top ten of the all-time scoring list. He said, I've been in the league for half of my life now. It's a blessing to be playing on this platform and doing what I love to do. I just want to continue to keep putting in good work and keep adding to what I already did. One of the greats, Allie. Thank you. Let's give some credit to the defense for how they're guarding this guy right now because they're refusing to let him get comfortable. Here's Durant. That one drops. Three for six now. <laughs> they're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. There's a four-second difference between the shot and game clock. Towns is screen on Booker. Here's Payne. No luck on that one. Excellent D there from Booker. Four seconds left. That one no good. 
And at the end of one, a closely contested game so far. The Suns on top. They lead by a bucket. After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter on 2K Sports. been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play and let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Suns well you got to be impressed with how selfless they've been so far their passing has been simply outstanding and they've also shown dominance in the paint so far tonight really putting the work in down low here's Morris so here are the five for New York as they start the second we've got campaign Precious Achua is out there with Josh Hart. Then it's Mikael Bridges, and it's Sims in at the five down low. That right there, that's the kind of look this system is designed to create. Payne with it. Still no points. Here's Bridges. Okogi pulls down the board. Might like a duel over there. Quality look inside. Here's Morris. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. First person of Hi, Grant, which U.S.-born player do you think has the best chance to supplant LeBron as the face of the league? Oh, man, you're putting me on the spot, B.A. Well, the conversation has to be between Jason Tatum, Ja Morant, sure, and Anthony Edwards. They're the best young talent that the U.S. has to offer, and they're only getting better. First free throw is good. Well, Grant, all the high hopes Knicks fans have had in recent years, they have finally come to fruition. Yeah, it really was good to see the Knicks have a great campaign last year. From the players, to the coaches, to the front office, and the fans. <laughs> They've pressed all the right buttons. Phoenix making a switch here. Allen's checked in. Both free throws good from Morris. Monte Morris was a late second round selection back in 2017. But boy, hard work and perseverance has paid off for this guy. Gets his second attempt to go. Now he's one for two. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Now here's Morris. Two fouls already on him. That is not the way to get your minutes per game up. Second team foul. And we played through the first minute here in the second. Allen finds Beal. Clock at six. The rebound by Shamit. Knicks trail by five. Pass to Hart. Left side Payne. Achua with a screen on Beal. Shamit, no good. And here's Morris. He'll bring it up for the Suns to the paint. That's good from Allen on the assist by Beal. Allen's got his second basket of the night. And you like the balance here. Not just falling in love with the three ball. And we'll have a timeout called by Tom Thibodeau. Coach wants to speak to his guys. Maybe alter some of the game plan. Get up on your feet and give a warm up.
checked in for Phoenix. And the switch here also for New York. Towns has checked in. Second quarter, a little over a minute and a half in. Pass to Shaman. Now it's hard. Bridges feeling it out a little bit. High post Towns. Over Plumley. On the mark with the 15-footer. Towns has got five points. That's the confidence of Towns. This guy, regardless of situation, believes that shot is going in. Well, Doris, since he was traded out of Phoenix, Mikael Bridges' scoring numbers have skyrocketed. Why is that? Well, number one, he's worked hard to develop his skill on the offensive end. He came in as a 3 and D guy, but what he's proven is he can handle the basketball. He can initiate action. You love the work ethic that went into that. Plumley pulls down the board. The Suns lead by five. Outside Booker. What balance from Booker. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. And here's Payne outside. Doesn't go for him. The Suns have gone three of five since the beginning of the second. Here's Booker. He has seven. Outside O'Neal. Back to Booker. Over Payne. Booker no good. Knicks trail by seven. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Pulls it from the top of the key. He squares up and sinks it. And Mike Budenholzer decides to call a timeout. He wants to give him a breather and talk things over. Doris, you look at the shooting of Carl Anthony Towns. A seven-footer. He's as good as it gets. He is, B.A. He has been verging on the 50, 40, 90 efficiency type numbers in recent years. He is right there with Dirk Nowitzki when you talk about the sweetest shooting big men of all time. Subbed in for Bradley Beal. Achua's checked in for New York. Brunson comes in for Payne. Phoenix leading by five. Pass to Okogi. Baseline jumper. He gets it in there. Durant's got eight. One of the most efficient two-point shooters in the history of the game, Kevin Durant from the mid-range. Closing it on four minutes played here in the second quarter. Here's Brunson. Durant pulls it in. And here's Durant. He'll bring it up for the Suns. They've only given up six here in this quarter. And he gets that one. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. Well, the last four years have been a wild ride in Phoenix. Let's talk about it, B.A. 2021, up 2-0 in the finals, lose the series. 2022, win 64 games looking.
look like a juggernaut get bounced in the second round. 2023, new owner and the KD trade. 2024, swept in the first round. A crazy stretch. Now here's Allen. Back to Plumley. Just five on the clock. Outside Booker. The three. And it's New York with a rebound. Hart's got his fourth rebound in this one. Outside Brunson. Pass to Shaman. Here's Towns. This is the baby hook. The Suns lead by six. A minute four left in the first half of this game. Floats one up. Booker can't get it to go. New York has gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. Achua with a screen on Booker. Brunson misses. Well, the defense flat out awful right there, and he couldn't punish them for their mistake. Pass to Plumley. Booker for three. Booker missing again. Knicks trail by six. Eight second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Hart passes to Shamit. Outside Brunson from deep three point land. Durant pulls it in. Well, that's just inconsistency from him, and it's happened all night, and it hasn't helped their cause. Outside Booker. Over Brunson. And the shot no good. A bit short. I'm sure he's kicking himself. He hates to blow that That's kind of opportunity. The clock runs out, and we are headed to halftime. Phoenix out in front. They lead by six. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Thanks. I'm here with head coach Mike Budenholzer. Coach, how would you characterize the intensity level in that first half? Yeah, no, it's pretty intense. You know, both teams are getting after it defensively. Nothing's going to be easy, so it's the way it's supposed to be. Hopefully it continues in the second half. Thanks. Thanks, Allie. After the break, we'll see you right back here to begin quarter number three. Welcome to halftime, and guys, so far the game has belonged to Kevin Durant. Well, Durant just taking charge. Kept that defense off balance in the first half. I know he's got more tricks up his sleeve. Without doubt, Shaq, hard to stop a guy who excels at every type of shot. All right, fellas, let's now take a look at what's to come on the upcoming schedule. And for that matchup with the Jazz, Although they appear to be the better team, they can't get caught up thinking that. You know, that's when you let your guard down. And in this league, Jet, it seems like upsets happen every week. Thanks for tuning in. Now we head back to Brian Anderson for the start of the third quarter. As we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. One of the stories here, Kevin Durant. He's getting it done today. When he got good position and they got the ball to him, he was automatic. Well, you can see why they would continue to play through him. He was tough to stop, super assertive down low. Just great work. Now Booker. Booker and Beal are the talented backcourt. Allen and KD are the forwards. And it's Nurkic in at the center. And that's the group for Mike Budenholzer as we begin the second half. Well, free throw attempt numbers indicate just how difficult someone is to guard. Booker certainly in the hard to check category. First trip to the line for him here.
He knocks down the first one. And Devin Booker is already one of the greatest players in Suns history, Grant. Well, you could argue that Steve Nash still ranks ahead of him. He did win two MVPs with the Suns. But when it's all said and done, I think Booker will be regarded as the best. Both free throws good from Booker. Doris, how about the emergence of Jalen Brunson? The Knicks got him as a free agent. B.A., it's incredible because the Knicks, when they signed him back in the summer of 2022, many voices were out there saying it's an overpay. You paid Jalen too much. Well, guess what? All NBA performer, and that contract looks like a bargain. Well, we know Mikel Bridges can connect from distance. This guy has become a consistent threat from deep. Three-pointer, Beal. Carl Anthony Towns comes up with a rebound. Towns has got his fourth rebound in this one. Bridges passes to Robinson. It's stolen by Nurkic. Towns against Durant. Beal outside. From 11 feet away, uses the glass to drop it in. The sweet shooter looks good from any range. The mid-range Bradley Beal says, yes, sir, that's in my bag. Brunson passes to Robinson. Now here's Bridges. Three-pointer, no good. Booker surveying the floor over Brunson. A nice shot by Booker. And it's a nine-point Phoenix lead. Yeah, one of his many attributes, guys. Booker is hard to stay with when he's pulling up off the dribble. And timeout is called by Tom Thibodeau. He'll take the opportunity to regroup. All right, fans, it's dance camp time. Get ready to dance like everyone's watching. Next dancer. damage from long range this season and you look at Allen boy he's a sniper third best three-point shooter in the league well the shooting percentage he's cultivated from deep range is so impressive his three-point shot is about as good as you can hope for Knicks trail by nine Towns outside back to Brunson here's Shamit New York again can't hit and it's Allen with the ball for Phoenix. They lead by the biggest margin of the game. Nine. Booker. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. I'll tell you, it has not been this guy's best night, but the teammates have been there to pick up the slack. Love it. Outside Brunson. Tries to break his ice. And they're going to count that bucket, and they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. First personal foul. Boy, how about that conversion by Jalen Brunson? This has become a staple of his game. Doris, how about the evolution of Jalen Brunson's career from role player to star player? Yeah, B.A., he begins his career as a backup point guard to the great Luka Doncic. But when given an opportunity to thrive without Luka in the playoffs, he did just that. Then he gets his own team and takes his What's game up? to an MVP level. Incredible evolution. Brunson, no good on the free throw. 
the hard work that Brunson has put in over the years, it really shows in his game, Doris. I'll tell you this about Jalen Brunson. As his coach likes to say, he may not pass the eye test, but he passes the win test. Unbelievable footwork, fundamentals, and a clutch game. Love Jalen Brunson's game. Guys, you love the patience when Bradley Beal is running the pick and roll. Doesn't rush, plays at his own pace. To the inside, shot is up. Easy jumper from very short distance. Bridges has got five points now this quarter. How good a playmaker are we watching? Always leading, always trying to create for others. And the timeout called by Mike Budenholzer. He's going to gather the troops and talk it over. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. For three, Booker. And it's New York with a rebound. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's the shot he typically makes. And he gets the bucket. Towns has got seven points. <laughs> they are passing the ball around tremendously right now. Now here's Booker. 11 points in the game. Phoenix no good that time either. Brunson against Booker. And Brunson, here we go. Ooh, Brunson throws it down. Boy, Jalen Brunson just reads what the defense concedes. And on that one, it's a drive. Pass to Durant. And here's Allen. And here's Beal. Six points for him. They are looking really strong offensively. Yeah, just terrific momentum. Let's see if they can keep it up. They've been aggressive during this run, but they've also played under control. I think the communication on offense is working at every level right now. What a run for this group. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. And Doris at seven feet tall and almost 300 pounds. Yusuf Nurkic often is the biggest human on the court. B.A., we might as well refer to him as the immovable object. This guy has slimmed down. He's in incredible shape. But Nurkic is an old-school big, and he is a force to be reckoned with around the rim, not just because of that size and strength, but because of his skill as a passer and a finisher. One of the things I think teams love when you have Yusuf Nurkic is the kind of physicality he brings nightly in the middle of the paint. This is a guy who's capable of 20 and 20 on a good night. O'Neal, he's checked in for Allen. Josh Hart's checked in for New York. Nurkic hits them both. And man, looking good from the line so far this half. Two minutes Town, outside. Two minutes. Outside Hart, pass to Towns. Booker against Brunson. Pulls up at the elbow. 
It's hauled in by the Suns. They've led by as much as 10. Up top, Durant. Covered by Towns. It's Booker on the wing. Oh, you can't let Booker get that close. Well, you see how confident Devin Booker is down low. Doesn't even think twice about looking to score in there. Towns outside. Back to Brunson. From downtown, fires in the triple. Brunson's got seven points here in the quarter. After a brutal first half from the field, their shots are finally starting to fall. Nurkic a screen on Bridges. Beal from outside. Hart pulls it in. Hart's got six rebounds now in the game. For three, Bridges. Basket is good. Off the assist from Brunson. Brunson's got four assists now tonight. Here's Booker. 13 points in the game. Pass to O'Neal. Back to Booker. Right side, Durant. Over Towns. Durant, no good. The Knicks have gotten 8 of 11 shots to go in. Efficient so far in the third. And the Knicks getting another bucket right there. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Beal from outside. Knocks down the long chain. Beal's got nine. You've got to have a short memory. Put a poor first half in your rear view and now make an impact. From 12 feet. It's wide right. Hits off the rim. Right side, Booker. One second left. It's good! It's good at the buzzer! Wow! Makes his selection just in time. Well done. Well, finishing quarter strong. Every coach preaches it. Nice work. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist to the game. Talk about painting a magnificent picture with that dive. Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. We call that putting it right in the pocket, and he knew what to do with it once it was there. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far. With this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. On the court right now for the Knicks. Carl Anthony Towns is out there with Precious Achua. Then it's Josh Hart. Then there's Campaign. And it's Shaman in at the two spot. Towns can't get it to go. The Suns lead by three. Here's Allen. From down in the low post, it goes. Oh, nice feed. On time and on target. New York has gotten six of 13 shots to go from outside the arc. Towns outside. Uses the glass to finish the layup. You can see it. He's taking better shots, and the results are coming because of it. And so it's Booker with it. He brings it up for the Phoenix Suns. Jacks up a three. And it's New York with a rebound. Towns has got a rebound number five here tonight. Well, after hitting one triple in the first half, it's been all radio silence since. And the Suns shooting the rock well at 46%. Here's Okogi. He's covered by Hart. Humbly a screen on Payne. For three, Allen. And it's New York with a rebound. Hart's got seven rebounds in the game. Pass to Achua. Here's Towns. Booker defending. Here's Shaman. Chua for three. The rebound by Allen. The Suns lead by three. Now O'Neal. Allen outside. Knocks it down from distance. Allen's got five points now in the quarter. Well, the defense deserves to get burned. Absolutely no excuse for leaving him open. Outside Payne. Pass to Shaman. 
Three pointer. Plumley pulls down the board. Plumley's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Here's Okogi, covered by Towns. Now here's Plumley. They double him with Achua. Clock at four. Releases. Allen can't get it to go. Knicks trail by six. It's hard on the wing. Allen defending. And here's Payne outside. Plumley pulls down the board. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is too. Okogi, the pass to Booker. And a missed layup. The Knicks have got one out of six shots to fall in this final quarter. Not ideal. Pass to Towns. The Suns clear it. They've led by as much as 10. Okogi into the lane. Off target at the rim. New York has gone 0 for 3 here in the fourth. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Towns, that's good. How about the calm demeanor of Towns? Well made for pressure situations. And the timeout called by Mike Budenholzer. He wants to make sure everyone is aligned, given the situation right now. Let me hear you get down for your sons. Break your dance through. Just checked in for Plumley. Durant comes in for O'Neal. And it's Beal in for Okogi. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Over that last break, guys, I got a chance to hear what Mike Budenholzer said to the team. Coach cautioned his team against feeling comfortable. He said the moment we take our foot off the gas, they're back in it. Let's push through the finish line. Brian? Great work, Allie. Thanks. Pass to Beal. On the wing, Durant. Anthony Towns comes up with a rebound. Knicks trail by four. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Brunson. Oh, Bucker with a block. Durant inside. Towns on him. Soft touch off the glass. Well, this is exactly how you want to attack the defense. Kevin Durant accepting the punishment, but refuses to be denied. Here's Brunson. Rebounded by Nurkic. Nurkic has got four rebounds in the game. Durant, pass to Booker. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. Well, how about Devin Booker completely locked in and finishing through contact? That's nice. First team foul.
yet just an offensive machine. Booker generates points consistently night in and night out. And so it's Brunson with it. He brings it up for the New York Knicks. Nine-point game. With the floater. Can't get it to drop. Phoenix has gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. Booker, pass to Nurkic. Back to Booker. And here's Durant. Pass to Nurkic. Beal outside. Allen with it. There's the triple. Now one falls. Coming off Beal's feed. And now a 12-point Suns lead. And there's no way this margin gets closed down. Great execution of a game plan and a nice win here for the Suns. Free throws were a major factor tonight. It's nice to get a lot of shots at the line, but then you need to convert them. They did that, and it paved their way to a win. And with this performance, they'll have claimed their eighth win of the year. And with this one all but in the record books, they set the tone in the first of what would be only two meetings between these teams. And even the opposing fans can't deny this was a sensational game for Devin Booker. Anytime they needed a bucket, they'd put the ball in his hands and say, go make a play. It was impressive to watch. Even early on in this game, they appeared happy to be playing at home. And it makes a huge difference. Once they started to get into a groove, you never really felt like they wouldn't come out on top. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Allie LaForce, Brad Hill, and Doris Burke, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching tonight's game. And let's leave you with our player of the game, Devin Booker.